Errant Worlds is a set of tools for creation of large maps in Unreal Engine. It is split into three plugins, Biomes, Landscape and Paths. They allow you to leverage procedural generation while maintaining artistic control. The tools are fully integrated with Unreal as new editor modes. Rather than replacing the existing Unreal ecosystem, they enhance it. You may use Biomes tool to spawn anything. Meshes, grass, gameplay elements, VFX or blueprints. Compared to traditional foliage tools where you may paint trees, in Biomes you can paint the whole forest. Or desert. Or any other environment you envisioned. All the vegetation, rocks, grass and forest floor get spawned at once, based on the user-defined logic. Crucially, as an artist you always have the final say. You can overwrite any automatically placed sub-biomes or species. You can iterate quickly thanks to biomes being run on GPU and allowing for partial regeneration. With support for both offline and runtime generation, the tool is perfect for spawning dense objects like grass and rocks. Compared to the built-in landscape grass, it is hugely more versatile and free of time-consuming landscape material recompilations. Errant Biomes is easy to learn thanks to its elegant asset structure, intuitive user interface and reliance on familiar tools, like Material Editor. It is made to empower artists and designers and to ensure efficient cooperation within large teams. Biomes tool encourages creativity through its fully programmable logic via the Material Editor. That's where you get access to hand-painted masks, landscape weight maps, metadata, and a library of helpful functions. Programmability means that you can combine all these inputs in any way you like to adjust the growth, scale, and asset selection within the species. It's also easy to create interspecies dependencies, like leaves spawning under trees. Spawned objects may even affect the landscape in a number of ways. Errant Landscape provides highly optimized stamp brushes which process only the affected area. This ensures fluent editing in the largest of maps where thousands of such brushes are used. The brushes don't reference the main landscape actor, which means that multiple artists may concurrently edit and check out them while working on the same level. Landscape tool comes with two other types of brushes, one for noise and one for erosion simulation. Errant paths may be used for all kinds of spline-based objects, like roads, fences, tunnels, walls, railways, or power lines. Creating a road goes as follows. You start by assembling templates in blueprints. They may contain static and spline meshes, decals, and child blueprints. Component location can also be randomized. Then you define a path using a spline and generate the road based on the created templates. The tool adjusts foliage and landscape automatically. Inside the templates, you can create complex hierarchies of components, and the tool will maintain their relative transforms while adjusting to the road curvature. What's more, paths can even adapt to the environment thanks to programmable spawn rules, which decide whether a given component should be spawned or which template should be used. One example of that is spawning additional barriers in sharp turns. Naturally, objects spawned by the algorithm may also be adjusted by hand. To get Errant Worlds, visit our website, errantphoton.com.